Hey, you lower the superge, and I'm bringing you guys a chest opening video. Thanks for tuning in. I'm sitting in my hotel room at TI4 right now, and uh, there's a new item in the game. Um, there's some autographs for immortal items that you can get. So if you guys are interested in getting this, this is my announcement that it's happening. I already tweeted and posted on Facebook about it. But um, if you want to find it, just go to the store in Dota 2. Let's try to hop back to the store. I don't know if it's going to let me. All right, so on the main store page, here it is right on the left. You can click here. The autograph treasures is what you're looking for. And then I am way at the bottom. There's also all these other personalities. If you guys want to support them, you can do that as well. But I'm all the way up. Never mind, I guess let's randomize them in the middle this time. And here we go. going to open me up, and there we are. So there's five um, immortal items that you can get. These alter these heroes' animations. So a tombstone for undying, a, a cool helmet that gives you a different static link, I think, for Razor. The staff thing makes, like, staff shoot from the air instead of just lasers. Um, this changes the Earthshaker fissure. And um, this changes the hex on on Shadow Shaman. You also, you also have a chance of getting a Doomling Courier, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to bo uh, buy five of these so you guys can see what they look like. And then it should open immediately afterwards. Yeah, it looks like it is going to do that. So um, the, way, the reason I don't make chess videos anymore is because um, it doesn't, like... Fissure sounds cool. It doesn't show... Like, it's not randomized anymore. You get basically all five in a row. Um... If, if you do end up going for that. The graphics look a little shit here because my laptop is not very high quality, but um, it does come with an autograph. So if you hover over it, it'll say autograph by Kevin Purge Godek, and it also comes with a unique thing. But it will change what your fissure looks like. It kind of looks like the totem a little bit. Um, some people are using it in game, and it's pretty cool. Um, I will probably use it over both of these things now. So Okay, and we want to go back to the store. I want to go show you all the other ones too. So I'll go buy more of my more of my things. Middle of the pack. Buy and open. So we got a Razor Helmet. We have a Undying Tombstone. There's the Razor Helmet. Let's accept that. First Bloods equipped. Uh, uh, uh. Actually looks really sick. It's got light coming up from all areas. And it ends up giving an effect that, uh, like I said, where your static link looks a little different. So, store. And you guys are going to know how to do this very simply. Oops, there I am again. Maybe I should have made a picture that was more eye-catchy, you know? Would that make more sense? Skywrath, Tombstone, and Shadow Shaman. Okay. Earned. Not something I normally do on Undying. I mostly feed. But uh, hopefully earning gold is something that I can do in the future. Two more. I do need something open. How did you know? Oh good, I'm happy. Okay, that other item that I was guaranteed to get. So it changes one of your two wands, actually. So, um, yeah, because I suppose you have like a jug on one side, and god, that is really bright. But the autograph lamb to the slaughter also gives you a bit of a, an effect. As you see this like little hazy thing, it kind of like goes behind you. It looks pretty cool. But it turns them into a lamb instead of a, a chicken, I think. Yeah, instead of a chicken, so it's pretty cool. I don't know if he's still going to say bogak when, uh, when you end up... Oops, that's not what I want. I don't know if he's still going to say bogak whenever you ever turn people into a lamb, but... Maybe we'll make a boss sound instead. That would be super cool. Last one. Can I get a Doomling? Give me the Doomling. This says I have something new. I think I know what it is. It's that staff that I was guaranteed to get. Alright, no Doomling. I got wrecked, guys. I actually love my Skyrath items right now. I'm a little... I think it looks really cool. I've got blue wings and stuff. I've, like, dropped all these, actually. I've gotten pretty lucky, because he's, like, my favorite hero right now. Wards placed, empty socket. I got this at the secret shop at last year's TI. Wards purchased. That's me, dude. Wards placed. How sick. It's a pretty cool staff, actually. Oh, it has a bird on it. Interesting. Okay, so that's all the uh, that's all the chests. If you guys want to buy those, you can. It supports me directly, so um, I'm not gonna like tweet or Facebook or message it or mention it anymore. I just wanted to tell everybody on YouTube that doesn't follow me on Twitter or Facebook, uh, and I don't want to like spam your feeds with retweets and stuff. A lot of people are doing that right now. And frankly, I look down upon it. Okay, so that's it for Dota 2.
Now I can talk a little bit. Just make my webcam gigantic. Okay. Did you want to see me in full definition? Because who I am. So I can basically talk now about TI. I just wanted to get that out of the way at the start. Um, I've been at TI4 for four days now. Um, so I'm in Seattle. I'm in my hotel room. I, it's about 10 a.m. So I have about one to one and a half hours till I need to get over to Valve offices to cast. But it's been so much fun so far. Um, I feel a little bad because I haven't made any vlogs yet, but here I am. Um, I haven't really recorded very much footage with my with my camera because I feel I don't know. It feels a little different to me. Like I don't really want to go around and put cameras in people's faces. You know, like if I'm just hanging out with friends. I feel weird about doing that, so sorry that I haven't made very many videos, but basically what I've been up to is eating a lot of really good food, um, hanging out with tons of friends, um, Blitz is here, uh, I've been hanging out with like EGM and some of the Alliance people in Hotbid's room, and Hotbid hanging out with him a lot, and a lot of the good studio people have been coming in there too to play Smash, we've been playing with like Lumi and other stuff, Hotbid basically, he ordered a CRT monitor, which is like an old school big tube monitor, or uh, TV, a tube TV, and he had it shipped here to the hotel so that uh, he could play Smash Brothers in his hotel room for like the two and a half to three weeks that we're here. I don't know what he's going to do with it afterwards, but he ended up spending $60 for the TV and $40 for shipping because it's perfect for Smash. You can't play it on a, like a regular TV because the delay is too much. We've tried it before and it's horrible. It's like really tough. It's like trying to play Dota on 300 to 400 ping. It becomes like way harder. So um, we've been playing a lot of Smash in his room. It's been really fun getting a little better. Every time we play, I'm always, I, like Hotbit always teaches me something new because he's decent. And it, he always shows me how deep the game is, and I'm just disgusted. I'm like, oh, screw this. I don't want to play this game anymore. It's really annoying. And then I come back the next day, I'm like, yo, I'll play some more. It's really weird how that works, but uh, it's kind of like Dota in that sense. The learning curve is really rough, but it's a really fun game. Ake is, like, super good. He's not, like, pro level by any means, but he's, like, he's like a tier above everybody else. And Hopit's a tier above everybody else. But Ake is a tier above Hopit, so... We do these things called crew battles, and if you guys watch the Smash documentary, if you haven't yet, I really recommend it. It's super good. But what a crew battle is, is you take basically everybody in the room, and you put them on teams that you think are fair, and sometimes you can, and you do stocks. Um, and the way stocks work in Smash Brothers is if you knock somebody off the map and they die, they lose a stock. So it's kind of like a life. And then you respawn immediately, and you try to continue killing the person, and they're at the same percentage that they were before. So when you have a crew battle, usually you have people one person with four stocks, one person with four stocks, and they smash their heads together until you see who has a winner. So we'll say, this guy loses all four stocks, and this guy has two stocks remaining. So then you restart against a new four from the other team, and then you fight again. And maybe this guy's really good, the two-stock guy's really good, and he takes out three stocks before he dies, so he gets three stocks. And then a new person on this team comes in and comes back with four stocks. So what you do is you stack the team so they're pretty equal, and it gets really hyped because sometimes you take somebody that absolutely sucks at the game because they just started playing, and they try to take one stock off of a good person like Hotbit or, or Ake. And if they can take a stock off of them, it's so fucking hype. And it's really hard for Ake or Ken because they have to do four times as much damage and four times as well as them. So it's really fun. We've been doing a couple of them. Uh, we haven't done one in a day or two because all the matches started yesterday. So everybody's been actually busy playing and, you know, being here for the reason that they came here, which is, you know, playing Dota. But um, it was fun the first couple of days to, to relax. But um, we have more casting today. It's a group stage. If you guys want to tune in, it just started pretty much. Um, you can watch in the Dota 2 client. You can also watch at Dota2.com. There will be links to streams. If you want to watch what I'm casting, I'm casting the noob stream. What the noob stream is, is we basically do a cast, but we cover a lot of really basic concepts, so it's, like, perfect for me. It's, like, the best job. It's, like, exactly what I've been doing on YouTube for, like, two years now. But we'll basically cover con basic, more basic concepts. We'll explain th what items are. We'll explain what skills are. We're going to explain for heroes to look at why people are picking these heroes. A lot of basic concepts. Hopefully we don't get too advanced, but it may, it's probably too high level for you guys, but we've had really good feedback. Everybody seems like, even people that, like, feel like the, the, the explanations are below them, they still have been enjoying it, which is good. I'm happy to know that. Um, I've been casting with Suns fan. He's uh, one of the people that works at Dota Cinema, the YouTube channel, if you guys may know it, and we having, we're having a really nice time. We're going to start casting in probably about an hour or two. Um, Blitz, Shane, and Purian are the other half of the casting crew for the noob stream. They're covering the beginning of the day, and we're covering the later afternoon into the evening. So if you guys want to tune in today, we're going to be covering five games. You can come watch. It's at uh, twitch.tv slash... Dota2 underscore noob is the stream. I'll put the link down below if you guys don't understand what I just said. Twitch.tv slash Dota2TI underscore noob 
is the stream title or the stream link. So go there. You can watch Blitz, Shane, or Peering Cast. If I get this video up a little bit later, it'll be myself and Suns Fan Casting five best of ones today. So they're in the group stage. A lot of teams are doing better or worse than everybody expected them to. It's so many good games. Like they are the best teams in the world. It's all on land. It's so intense. You guys seriously need to watch if you have any interest in competitive Dota. Even if you don't, maybe you'll enjoy learning a couple things. I'm mostly focusing on teaching with, it's like 50% teaching, 50% casting is what I'm doing. I'm not doing 100% casting, so maybe it'll be like a video. Yeah, it's pretty much going to be like a video. If you guys are missing my videos, watching the stream today is going to be the best thing that you can do. Um, you might be able to watch VODs as well. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm pretty sure you can watch all the VODs. Not sure about my stream, because my stream is a little different than everybody else's, but you should be able to watch live at least. Make sure you tune in if you're interested. So I think that's about it. Where I'm going to be here till the 22nd, or the 23rd, which is in 13 days. So we have a lot of casting to do, and then after the group stage, there's a three-day break, and then we go to Key Arena, and we have the finals at the big stadium. And it's going to be super sick. There's going to be 10,000 people there. That's where the final starts, and uh, I'm going to be casting there as well. So you'll be there'll be plenty of stuff for you to watch of me if you guys are on a US schedule. I've been casting like five to six hours a day or something. Or at least like I sit there for six hours and I do like 40 minutes and the game ends and we're just 20 minutes off. Stuff like that. So thanks everyone for watching again. If you guys are interested in the treasures, I'd really appreciate it if you bought some because it pays for my food. And I really like food. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching everybody. I will see you later. And hopefully putting out uh, another vlog later uh, when I get some more updates here. Bye guys.